Marlena Stell, AKA Makeup Geek, just released her video for Truth in Makeup, talking about her pledges to the beauty community. And I, I just, it just doesn't sit well with me and I just, I don't trust her and I'm gonna explain why. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is not a drama channel. I am a channel that is all about helping you improve your mental health. But what I try to do is take things from the community and teach you how you can improve your mental health by recognizing that you might be going through the same stuff that's going on. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So real quick, before I jump into this video, like it's, there's always this internal conflict. Like, I just wanna let you all know, like, I am leaps and bounds above where I used to be before I started working on my mental health, but like, I'm still a wacky guy up here, right? And there's these, these things that I have these internal conflicts about, but you know, that's part of being human. And one of the things that I, I get conflicted about is, talking about these types of stories. And there's this thing called negative bias, right? We are we are more prone to focus on the negativity rather than the positivity, okay? And and as many of you who enjoy these videos, I can hone in on the few comments that are that are like, I don't like this, Chris. I don't like this. You're a mental health channel. What are you doing? Why are you making videos about this? And and there's maybe there's maybe like two or three of them that I've come across, but then there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of like positive comments. And and like that's that's something that a lot of us struggle with. And leave comments down below. Like, let me know. Like, are you one of those people where in a, in a sea of positivity, you can hone in on the one or two negative things, right? Like that's something I struggle with. So I always struggle with like making these videos and like right before recording this and after watching Marlena's video, I'm like, should I make this? Like, I, I, I don't wanna be a drama channel and, and I'm not, I'm not. And you know, I, I wanna give another shout out to my girlfriend's best friend, Shelby, because, you know, we're in a little group text and we talk about stuff and, you know, I show them like, you know, some of the comments that I get and things like that and, you know, whatever. And, and Shelby, Shelby, if you're watching this, and I think you will, I don't think Shelby watched many of my videos, okay? I have over 400 videos on my channel. I don't think she watched many of them. She's been watching a lot of my videos lately because I'm pulling in these situations from the beauty community. Something that she's interested in, but Shelby said something in our group text the other day, and she said like, I really enjoy what you're doing because you can take something that I can relate to, and then I can reflect on myself and say, okay, where do I need to improve? What am I doing? And I'm like, yes, 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 yes. So, you know, like I know I made a video, an entire video about this when I talked about uh, uh, the blind girl, uh, Molly Burke, like sometimes you gotta wrap something up in a different package just to give people the help that they need, you know? So as much as I might have these like little internal conflicts about this, like, I don't know, it helps a lot of people. It brings people in so they can improve their life. But anyways, like that's the first couple minutes of the video. I've talked too long about that, but I do like to keep you guys in the know of what goes on with my own mental health and the things I struggle with and things like that. And that way I can kind of show you what I do to overcome them and, and do different things to like keep my sanity and keep my happiness and serenity and peace and all these other things. But anyways, Marlene Estell just released her video uh, for Truth and Makeup, and she wanted to clarify a bunch of things, and you know, she wanted to make her pledges to the beauty community. And the overlying tone of this video is I wanna talk about my black and white thinking, okay? Black and white thinking, for those of you who do not know, it's, it's, a, it's a thought process that people struggle with, okay? Where, Somebody is in an all good category or an all bad category, okay? And I'm struggling right now because I put Marlena in an all good category, but when I saw the video from Mel Ray Siegel and her follow-up video, Marlena has gone into the all bad category. And what happens for those of us with black and white thinking is the person has to do like this grand act 
in order to go back to the other category of being all good. But the problem is, is that we've set up guidelines in our brain that oftentimes the other person's not even aware of in order for them to get back into that good category. And I hope that makes sense. And anybody out there who struggles with black and white thinking, it probably makes perfect sense to you, all right? So that's what I'm struggling with with Marlena. I, it's hard, it's hard for me to believe her and trust her with what she's saying until what is a, uh, what happened with Mel Ray Siegel, until that's addressed, it's hard for me to see Marlena in a good light, which is crazy to me. It's crazy because I'm very over analytical, okay? Not only am I over analytical, but I analyze people, all right? And I, I don't trust people. I have a lot of trust issues. I need to make videos on that. And when you have somebody like Marlena, who is making a ton of money, who is a business owner, and like her pledges are to support small influencers. She made a hashtag for truth and beauty. She says you go post that with your makeup look, they will send you free makeup and things like that. And I'm always questioning people's motives. And I know all of you are too. Like this is a human issue. This is, this is something people do all the time. Like we're constantly questioning people's motives. Why are you doing that, right? So my brain, since Marlena is in this all bad category, right? It's saying like, she's only doing this so she can get more exposure. She's only giving people free makeup so she can get more exposure. She's giving free makeup on the off chance that these, uh, these smaller influencers are gonna start to spread the word about Makeup Geek. Even though she said, and her words said, we're not doing this to make money, we're not doing, we're giving out free makeup, we wanna support small influencers and stuff. But I'm like, but well, what is your motive, right? But when it comes to black and white thinking, before I saw Mel Ray Siegel's video, I would have just looked at uh, this video from Marlena and said, oh my God, this is amazing. She's supporting small influencers. This is amazing, this is incredible. You see what I mean? Like, this is something that we struggle with, with, with people in our lives, right? Like when they switch over to that other side, it's hard for us to trust anything that they say. And one of the ways I combat my black and white thinking with people in everyday life, because I don't know Marlena, like I don't buy makeup, like it doesn't matter for me. But like I take these situations and I'm like sitting here, I'm like, oh man, like who else am I doing with it, this within my life, right? And I talked about my black and white thinking in a, a video not too long ago, like, I'm involved in the YouTube community and there's a lot of people in the YouTube community who have switched from one side to the other in my brain because I'm still kind of a crazy person. Now, some of you might be like, what are you talking about with Mel Ray Siegel? Well, I am really surprised that Melway Siegel's videos have not exploded more than they already have. Basically, what happened was Melway Siegel was paid $100 to use some of their makeup and model for it or whatever, and they told her we're gonna promote you and stuff like that. Melway just, you know, she wanted the, the promotion for it. And they have been using her image and all these other things, but not crediting her at all, and this upset her, so she made a video about it. She also sent them a cease and desist, okay? So they took her images down, all right? So, like, it would be crazy for anybody to think that Marlena is not aware of this situation that happened with Mel Ray Siegel. So in Marlena's video, she said, if you have ideas of what I can do or how I can help, you know, make the beauty community better, and like, I left a comment. I'm like, I really think that you need to set things right with Mel Ray Siegel. So I'm gonna lump this into my playlist of how to apologize. Like, Mel Ray Siegel was hurt, okay? Her view, her opinion of Makeup Geek has vastly changed. My opinion of Marlena as the person has vastly changed because of that situation. Marlena talks so much about supporting smaller influencers and all these other things in her video. And it's like, since we, like, it is pretty safe to say that Marlena is aware, she is aware of this cease and desist, she needs to reach out to Mel Ray Siegel directly because I do feel that Marlena is a good person. I, I assume that whatever happened with Mel Ray Siegel and the image and everything like that, it was not like Marlena sitting in like 
a mansion going, <laughs> I'm gonna screw this little beauty influencer over. I don't think that's what happened, but I feel that Marlena should reach out to Mel Ray and say, yo, I'm sorry about that. What can I do to help you? I'm on this whole kick about supporting smaller influencers. I wanna get you more attention. You do such an amazing job that we used your image. How can I help you? What can I do for you, right? Now, that's all Marlena can do. That's it. Mel Ray Siegel might still be hurt. She might still be hurt about it. And she might tell Marlena, no, kick rocks. And that's cool. But that act that Marlena would do would would get me back on Marlena's side. And and like like I said, I, I don't mean like this is nowhere, this is not intended to be any type of drama video or anything, but like, let's say this. Let's say you know somebody in your life who struggles with black and white thinking. I hope this video kind of gets you into the mind of somebody who has black and white thinking and have a better understanding. I also want you to realize like, when it comes to apologizing and trying to repair our image or who we are and set things right, like, I used to be a very terrible person. I'm not saying Marlena is a terrible person, but I used to be a very terrible person, and I would just constantly sweep things under the rug. Just under the rug, here it goes. Maybe nobody noticed this. Maybe not that many people realize this, right? But like, we remember. People remember, right? But I was making my image even worse way back in the day when I used to be a terrible person just by trying to ignore things and skirt around things and, and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's not, that's not a good way to live. Like, I gotta be open, honest about all sorts of things. And like, those of you who are my loyal subscribers, like, and have been around for a while, or those of you who are my new loyal subscribers, a lot of you know my true intentions. You know, you know my true motives. Um, I made an apology video yesterday and it meant a lot to me when people were like, Chris, I know that you didn't mean that. You know what I mean? And again, like, I don't know, maybe someday I'll make a, a video about it, but the comments in my apology video, they're screwing me up. Again, going back to that negative bias. There was so much positivity in those comments and I'm honing in on the negative ones. You know, but anyways, anyways, I'm gonna quit babbling because I'm in this whole like, this wacky kind of mindset where I'm in the mood to talk. <laughs> and uh, so I'm gonna end this video, but I wanna hear your comments down below. If you struggle with black and white thinking, your thoughts, your opinions, whatever you got, let's have a conversation down below. All right, but if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And again, if you're new here, my channel's all about helping you improve your mental and emotional well-being. Make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. And I wanna send a huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And if you wanna check out some awesome Rewired Soul swag, make sure you click or tap on that shop icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.